may be the last sitting with Robin. There are some awkward places in this drawing and painting, and I'm going to work on the far arm to see if I can whack that into shape. Uh, I actually love arms around furniture. I love the wrist. I love the joints in a figure. I love the, the shoulder joint and elbows and all that stuff. It's just such a puzzle to, to figure out. So uh, I'm going to work on those awkward places and, um, and we'll see where it goes. I have, uh, during the break, dug out my stick to see if that will help me. <clears throat> so the neck comes in like this. I tend to see uh, mass better than line at times, a lot of the time, so uh, I'll try and paint that shape rather than draw it exactly and see if I can get this elbow area placed a little better. It should be just a little richer. And now uh, that arm curves over. It's a bit greenish, so I'm reaching for my Viridian. There's still light there, but it's uh, more of a greenish tone. And where is this thing that it braids? So. Now I like that uh, green and orange, 
that I found on the back side of that lit arm. So I'm going to go back to that tone and see if I can find what's going on back in here. It's not direct light, but it is quite reflected. So let me pull that up here. Actually, there's a bit of light there. Okay. That arm is beginning to relax and fit into the environment just a little better. So I am a bit happier with that now. Sometimes you just have to get out your guide sticks and look. This underarm has changed just a little bit from what I had. So get that in. Top of this furniture, I'm going to try a. Um, I haven't used. This. I'm going to try the brown matter with orange. That would be um, brown matter watercolor by American Journey, and then this Da Vinci orange gouache, which I also purchased from Cheap Joe's. Is that too flesh colored? Yeah, it is a little bit. Cool it. We'll uh, knock it back with a little yellow ochre. Where is that yellow ochre? All right, and that starts up about in here. Comes on down. There. Then we have a rich reddish color. And so now, getting back to the line work again. Hand comes out about there. Knuckles are about there. We've got a thumb joint over here.
would be important to get the right number of fingers on this. One, two, three. Goodness me, there's a problem here. I'll fix that. <laughs> One of my favorite painters is Nikolai Fetchin. He's a deceased Russian painter and uh, Anyway, I was admiring one of his paintings, and uh, I could have sworn he had five, uh, six digits on his fingers. But somebody said, "No, no, 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 that's just the cloth." I said, "Oh, okay." <laughs> I think we're about done here for the day. I'm leaving what I call a mud face on my figure today. Okay, I think maybe that'll that'll do.